Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of black owned brands. I am so excited for this video because this is gonna be a good one. I'm like looking at all the products in front of me and I'm like, okay, this video is gonna be so good and I'm so excited because some of these products I haven't used in a long time. So I am ready to just dive into it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already did my brows off camera just to save a little bit of time, but I did use my Juvia's Place brow pencil in the shade Ebony. I love this brow pencil, it's so easy. Every time I use this brow pencil, I don't have to use the pomade with it. I just love it. It just makes my brows look super natural and I'm loving like this little feathery look that I'm able to get with just this brow pencil. So it's a really good brow pencil and highly, highly recommend it. You guys can get it at Ulta. We are gonna start off with a little bit of hydration. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty What It Do Refreshing Mist just to give myself a little bit of hydration before we go in with primer. I don't usually feel like I see people talk about this spray too much. One thing about this spray is that I never can tell if it's actually going on my face or if it's doing anything. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty True Matte Primer. This is my favorite primer from Fenty out of all three. The True Matte is my favorite. She does have like a soft silk one, which I do have a mini of. She also has a soft matte, but I'm like, if you're gonna go soft matte, you might as well go True Matte. You know what I mean? Especially if you have oily skin and you want that. I just feel like this one just works really well and I love it. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. This is so full coverage, it is crazy. Like you do not need that much of this. The shade that I am in is 230. I honestly cannot find my perfect shade with this, so. We're just gonna hope that this is pretty decent because I haven't used it in a long time. Just gonna go ahead and blend this in. I'm telling you guys, you do not need a lot of this because it is extremely full coverage. Like, look at that compared to like the other side. Oh, this is a pretty good shade, actually. I couldn't remember. I've gone through so many different shades of this foundation. I'm still like so unsure, but this is super full coverage and i love that about this foundation it's so good and it's so pretty like you do not need a lot like look at my skin it looks so freaking good the concealer that i pulled out was the fenty bright fix concealer this is in the shade almond butter so we're gonna use some of this today which i'm excited such a pretty foundation fenty has this foundation and they also have that other foundation that came out with like the true, with like the matte foundation that she initially launched. That is definitely not my favorite from Fenty at all. I definitely prefer this one. Not only does it brighten, but it's just really lightweight. You can wear it with like a tinted moisturizer. You can also wear it with a full coverage kind of look like this. So I'm probably gonna do a couple of layers of this too because I am going to go ahead and oh, put that a little too far over me. Most definitely going to go in with a cream contour. So I might have to go in with more of this concealer. But for now, we're just going to place this first. Oh, it's so hydrating as well. But you guys are going to see how it just brightens under the eyes. I love it. And it's blending out so well with this Juvia's Place foundation too. Ooh, ooh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Everything is looking really good. I'm really happy with my base thus far. Let's go ahead and go into some cream contour slash bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks. What is this called? There's no name on this, but this is her cream. Can't remember which one this is called. But this one is from Danessa Myrick. She has two. She has a cream bronzer that comes in like a circle kind of um, component. And then she has this one that's in the square. This one is a little bit more easier to blend. Um, and it's not as super intense as the one in the circle. So mind you, I think this one is more of a contour and the other one is meant for bronzing. But I have the shade Deep 2 Fenty 125 brush. You guys know I love this brush for cream products. 
And I'm just gonna take this and, oh, oh, okay, that's a lot. Maybe since I took so much, I'm gonna have to use a sponge to blend this out cause girl, girl, that's a lot. I'm just gonna lightly tap up here cause I went in with way too much. I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna tap this in. It blends in so beautifully. So if you go on with too much like I did, you can definitely fix it by just going over it with your sponge. Like me, which is really pretty. Super, super pretty. You also can add more if you want. I'm just gonna tap that there and then blend again. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and go into cream blush. I like to go through all of my cream products first before I set with any kind of powders. So for cream blush, I pulled the Danessa Myricks, I can never remember these name, the name of these, the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palettes from Danessa Myricks. So today I think we're gonna go, ooh, let's go with, we're gonna use two shades. So let's go in with this shade first. This one right here called Wallflower first. I'm gonna take that on my Fenty 125 brush. I have two, one for blush, one for like cream contour kind of products. Love, I'm telling you guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, and I'm just gonna place this on my cheeks, just a little bit higher up. Ooh, that's a lot, you guys, it's a lot. But this is gonna be set with a powder blush so I'm not really worrying about how much I'm going in with because I'm telling you guys it's going to all come together. I am probably going to go on with some more of that Fenty Bright Fix just to kind of like brighten up even more. I'm going to go into this palette right here from Danessa Myricks and I'm going to go into this shade right here on the same brush and just put this keeping it lower on the cheeks. I feel like ombre blush is very much in right now. So I'm just doing this, even though it's once again gonna be covered up with powder. Then I'm gonna take my sponge again and just soften up these edges right here, just so it is blending beautifully. Just gonna take a slight bit more of that Fenty Bright Fix, just like a little bit more. We are looking so good so far. So now that we have most of the cream products laid down, we are gonna go ahead and go in with the Beauty Bakery setting powder. So I have two shades. I have caramel and yellow. I'm gonna start off with caramel because I don't remember why I have two shades and which shade I like best. Caramel has a little bit more yellow in it, so we're gonna do that one first. I'm just gonna go on with my little makeup puff and we are going to just set under the eyes with the puff. This is one of their like best selling products and this powder is really beautiful. If you haven't tried this powder, I highly, highly recommend it. It's so pretty as you guys can see. It just looks so smooth under the eyes. It just looks really beautiful. I haven't used this powder in a while because I've been using my Huda Beauty and my Haley's Beauty a lot recently, but this powder right here, oh my gosh, obsessed. I forgot how good this powder is. So good. Oh, oh my gosh, look at my base. Let's go ahead and get into bronzing and contouring. So I have my Juvia's Place Duos. So I have the shade Dark and Deep Dark that we're gonna go in with. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Deep Dark first for my contour. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I like to just go into both of these shades for my contour and just focus this further back on my cheek. I'm not really trying to like bronze with this shade. I always just, I use this just for contour. Just to like kind of snatch everything. And then I'm gonna go into the dark one for my bronzer. I just like to go into both. Usually in the winter, I will go in with this lighter one on the top and then in the summer I'd use this one, but I'm just using both, just to use both. You guys see how much like cream blush I put on, but it's like low key gone. This always happens when I start layering on my, you know, my powder products on top. That's why I go in with so much. 
just to kind of like have that like extra layer of insurance under my blush and under my makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour, just a little bit. I don't know why I'm using this big brush. No one I don't use this big brush for my nose contour. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Okay, perfect. Looking so good. Okay, so for blush, I have this right here. This is from the crayon case. This is the blush binder. I love this thing, okay? This is so good. I think it's like $45 on the crayon case. Um, literally, there's like three pages of blush here. And then you also have like shades that you can kind of contour with. Um, this was my favorite purchase of 2020. 2020? Yeah, this is my favorite 2020 purchase. Like, there's literally so many different blush shades. Definitely check out the crayon case. Um, this is by Super Scent. She's from New Orleans. Shout out to Nola. Um, but yeah, so I literally love the first page. The first page is my favorite. Um, but for blush today, I usually go in with this shade right here, but I need to like, I need to not do that. Maybe let's go in with this purpley shade. Here or the orange, no, let's do the purple. If I do the orange, that's not gonna go with the look that I'm envisioning. So we're gonna take a little bit of this purple shade right here. There aren't any names, so I'm just, this is the shade right here. And I'm just gonna take this higher back on my cheeks. We're gonna do a little ombre effect. You guys, I have been using so many blushes lately. I like to just do that ombre effect with my blushes. But can we just talk about how pretty this blush is? And then I think I am gonna go into my favorite blush shade, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and focus this on the cheeks, like on the cheekbone, and then blending it up into that first blush shade. Oh my goodness, I live, I love. I'm just gonna take my little puff and just kinda like dust over that so it's kinda like Blend it. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. I don't want to lose the blush that's back there. You guys, there's literally a process to blush. I'm telling you guys, I have a long process, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But that is the blush binder. Highly recommend it. I'm obsessed with this. Seriously, highly recommend this. Let's go into highlighter. I'm trying to like finish up the base first. So for highlighter, I'm going to go into this one right here from LYS. This is in the shade... Fearless Warm Bronze. Look at that golden -y shift that it has. It's so pretty. I'm so obsessed. It's really blinding too. It's a very blinding highlighter. Ooh, so pretty though. It's such a pretty highlighter. I think this is probably my favorite product from LYS. Like they have cream blushes, which you guys, usually the blushes would be my favorite thing, but this highlighter just hits different. I think this is definitely my favorite product from them. It's so pretty. It just looks wet on the skin. Can we like get into that? Just looks so beautiful and wet. For the eyes, I did pull this palette right here, the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette. I, I haven't really done eyeshadow because of my lash extensions, but we're just gonna see what I'm gonna do today. I am going to prime my eyelid, my oily eyelids with my Fenty eye primer. This is one of my favorite eye primers ever. One thing about it is that I have noticed that I have really oily eyelids if I don't wear anything on my lids. It's, it's not good at all. I'm gonna take this deep shade right here in the palette. And I'm just gonna run that all throughout my crease. I'm literally just gonna use two shades, you guys. Cause I don't really want the eyes to be such a big focus. Other shade I'm gonna take is this one right here. This little shimmer shade. Oh, so pigmented, oh my gosh. That is so pretty. That literally took like, what, two seconds? That is pretty. Oh my gosh, love that. Maybe I won't put mascara on my lower lash because we're just gonna leave it alone. Because I don't have, so for mascara, like for my lower lashes, I don't have a uh, mascara from any of like any black owned brand, but that's okay. We don't really need it. We're not gonna, 
we're not gonna need it. So let's move on to the last part, which is the lips. So I do have, where is it? My Beauty Bakery lip liner. This is the Sugar Sticks lip liner in the shade Chocolate Therapy. So I'm gonna go in with this. So my lips are lined. You guys already know, your girl about to go in with some gloss. So I think the best one with this look would be hot chocolate with this in the center. With So hot chocolate and then a little bit of fussy in the center. I don't know if it's really going to do much, but we're going to see. So I'm going in with hot chocolate. Mm, love my Fenty glosses. They are so great. And I'm almost out of this one. So it's time for me to re-up on hot chocolate, most definitely. And then let's take a little bit of fussy in the center. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but take a little, a little bit of fussy in the center. Didn't really do much, but not mad at it at all. Okay. And then last, but certainly not least, setting spray. Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace setting spray to finish the look off. This setting spray is intense, but it smells so good and I really like it. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I really love how this turned out. Like my face looks so good. And I'm telling you guys, it all starts with a good foundation. Like 1000%, the foundation has to be so good. And I'm like, I need to pull this one out some more. I really love this foundation. It's so beautiful. This just reminded me of how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I did this video because the Beauty Bakery setting powder, I can't believe this has been in my collection and unused. Like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like all of these products I love. I've loved every single product that I use in today's video. I love my look so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.